All right, hey Libra, so I am doing um, a singles read and the intention is set for new love. So if you guys don't resonate with your energy currently and your ideal partner, you guys are gonna wanna check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I do hope you'll subscribe if you like my energy. So I'm gonna start the read off with a couple of Oracle cards. You guys may or may not resonate with this, so that's fine. Um, I will get to your energy. In just a moment, I just want to see what comes through on a, a couple of Oracle messages. So let's see what we got for Libra, you guys. It says, stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. All right. That could be for some. It could be for all of you. You got passion coming through. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So keep a positive mindset, you guys. Please do not be hard on yourself. I do hope that you guys will be like looking in the mirror, looking at your beautiful faces, telling yourself, I love you. You are beautiful. And I deserve the world. All right. Speak easy to yourself, man. You guys, I, I just, I can get so emotional talking about our little soul that we're just a vessel for that doesn't deserve some of the heartache that we bring to ourselves. So your energy... Libra, your energy. Look at that. You have the king of the king of pentacles coming through with the ace of wands. Keep in mind this could be a confirmation read. All right. So your energy right now, you guys could have um already met somebody. All right. With the king of pentacles, even if you haven't met anybody, I feel like you're you are you're in this uh, you know speaking from this oracle message right here you guys could have kind of shifted out of that mentality recently um because the king of uh the queen of wands the king of pentacles this is all about money making money it's putting ourselves together it's embodying confidence courage independence um, and it's being determined to make life happen for us. So even if you haven't met somebody yet, um, you're you're stepping out. It's like every day I step out, I'm going to put myself together. This is like self-love, you know. Um, you guys could be focused more on money, stability, wealth, and finances right now, which is perfectly fine. Um, and the Ace of Wands right here is all about being open to receiving that new beginning. So you're you're here. You're ready for it. I got to say, some of you guys could have recently met somebody under circumstances that you feel may not go anywhere. Okay. And um, some of you guys could have connected with somebody very recently. Um, and, and that's, you know, that's where passion, look at passion comes through with that ace of wands. I'm almost feeling like some of you guys could have casually hooked up with somebody recently, or you're thinking that uh, a certain connection isn't going to turn, um, but it doesn't matter to you right now. Okay. That's not going to be for everybody, but you know, still, whether or not you've met anybody, you're in a, a real uh, um, harmonic energy. You're ready for passion. You're ready for new beginnings. So let's see what your ideal partner looks like. Your ideal partner. You want somebody you can grow with. Like you want the big dream. It's almost like, um, you know, even if you guys are kind of putting yourself out there casually, you're, you're still, you still have bi a big vision for the, for the future. The full card comes through as new beginnings. So you don't want anybody from the past. You want somebody you can build with somebody you can grow with somebody that, um, is, is, uh, they, they don't bring, um, unnecessary drama and baggage. Like you want somebody new. It's like, you want to connect with somebody that you don't carry any weight with in the past. You want to succeed, um, especially on the emotional level. You want a family. You want somebody you can grow old with, right? Um, this is right here. To me, it's you being all about this person and this person being all about you. You know, it's almost like we're going to ignore the world, shut the world out. And even if it's not seven days a week, 24-7, it's like I, I, want, I want the same energetic uh, feel. You know, what I put in, I want them to put in, like equalize, harmony, balance, all right, so let's see who's coming towards you. I, I I just love the energy you're in. Who's coming towards you? So you have Sagittarius, Virgo, and Aries. All right, you definitely got somebody coming through that does have that same mentality as you. This right here is building together. It's growing old. Um, you know, it's looking at our accomplishments. Um, and this person, I, I'm going to say this. The, the Ten of Pentacles coming through, um, and I know that money is, is not the most important thing in the world, but I do feel like you you will hit the jackpot with this person, all right? Money could be um, something huge with this person, um, you know, like a, a, a 
a physical manifestation of a jackpot um, in human form, okay? But temperance card is showing up as love, harmony. This is equality. It's balance. It's a soulmate card right here. You're coming through um, with the potential to re receive somebody who is very understanding, very level-headed, very patient, all right? And, you know, I feel like wealth is, it's not the main uh, attractor in a person, but I do feel like, you know, you are calling in an energetic match, especially if you're somebody who's focused on your own business, your own success, your own wealth. This person is not going to come in and deduct from that. So let's see what they bring to the table. What does this person bring to Libra's table? You got... The Ace of Swords. So here's what I'm going to say. With the Hangman, all right, and the positive cards that come through with this, I feel like this right here is clarity on the past, all right? Because the, the Hangman is all about illusion, uncertainty, delusion. It's not really having a clear picture. And with the Ace of Swords coming through with that and the Three of Cups, I feel like what this person's bringing to the, ta the, to the table is clarity. So like, you know, it's like you come to this realization or have a, re a revelation why all the situations of the past never worked in the first place. Okay, you have harmony, you have unity coming through right here. This is celebrations. It's coming together. It's get togethers. It's having fun. Um, celebrating life. Um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who doesn't take life so seriously, but they will be very direct, very honest, very open and very communicative. All right. So, and you guys could have suffered from having people that lacked communication, um, that lacked the ability to give you a clear picture of where situations are heading. This person brings clarity. So let's see what their values and beliefs are. Their values and beliefs. This is somebody who definitely is done with the negative emotional experiences. All right. If we can't talk about it and we can't heal from it, you know, then then you're not grown enough for me. All right. I, this person right here, as far as values and beliefs, they're over it. They want no more tower moments, man. And should you guys have a tower moment in your relationship that comes through here, this person wants just clarity. Okay, let's discuss why we're going through this. Let's discuss, let's talk, let's speak, let's communicate. This is all the air energy, all right? Let's heal. Let's move past. Let's grow, all right? This right here is all a healing factor. This person doesn't want to, they don't want to deal with um, the crappy dynamics of lack of communication. Um, let's have a clear picture with each other. Let's have boundaries, you know? Um, this person's just over it, those negative aspects in life they want growth they want to be able to heal and move forward all right so let's just see how they'll treat you how they will treat you so look at that you have um, somebody who's coming in that's willing to just let all their guards down in the world a true soul connection coming through this right here is basically saying this person's going to be like, I want to talk about, you know, the, the wounds and how you're feeling. What do you need? What can I do for you? Um, you know, this right here is really, it's deep. Like, let's shed the skin. Let's really bear all. Let's see who we are. You know, this right here, there's a lot of communication, mental clarity coming through. This right here is love. It's, it's sweet. It's very, very warm energy. All right. This right here is all about compassion. It's good moves, man. Um, this is so positive. I feel like if you guys have never had somebody that's kind of just bared it all, um, this person's going to come through. They're going to show you vulnerability and they're going to want that same um, dynamic from you. You know, they're coming through with love. Like this is love. Let me show you that you can put your guard down around me. Let me show you how how you're supposed to be treated. All right. So we'll see what the long-term potential is. The long-term potential for Libra. And this person. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. You guys have... So what you've experienced when it comes to heartbreak, heartache, loss... You're going to experience a complete transformation when it comes to that. I feel like with the three of swords and death card coming through, it's all about a transformation on relationships that you've never had. You've never been able to experience a, relation, a relationship like this. All right. I feel with the eight of pentacles, this is just showing that you guys are going to be able to work towards a greater and brighter future. This is going to be unlike anything you've ever experienced. Um, I feel like it's evolution when it comes to your own relationships. All right. So we're moving 
moving past. No more. We're not going to, we're not doing that heartbreak. We're not doing the loss. This card also flipped in reverse, you guys. And I feel like what that's saying is that we're coming out of that. You will experience no more heartbreak when it comes to the romantic aspect of life. All right. This is a connection that comes through that's going to push you guys to work towards um, a, bi a bigger, brighter future. So let's just see how this is going to be unfolding the next 60 days how this connection unfolds all right so i feel like you're gonna be you so we have i i almost feel like it's gonna come out of nowhere if i'm being honest for some of you guys it could involve um having a drink or or a get together um you know because the nine of cuffs is it's wish fulfillment but you know it's also I don't want to say overindulgent, but I do feel like there could be a party. There could be some sort of a get together when you meet this person. All right. I feel like that it's just going to take off without a hitch. You have the knight in shining armor coming through with this knight of cups. So I feel like you're going to be talking to somebody. You're going to be receiving communication from somebody. Um, pay attention to um, invitations, you guys, that you're going to be receiving. All right. To go out, to, to hang out. You know, um, this could be work related. It could just be off work, you know. You got strength card coming through with the six of pentacles. And I feel like it's like, fear not, uh, this love is coming in if it's not already here. And I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere. If you're being um, flirty with somebody right now, that energy I caught on the forefront, I, I'm almost feeling for some of you guys, this is a confirmation. So keep that in mind too, that it has a lot of potential to grow. So I'm going to pull some initials. You have R.O., M Z S O and J Libra, you guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Good luck.